Have you ever thought to yourself, I just don't know how it's physically possible for me to get everything done? That's where I am right now. And it's hard. But I have some techniques that I use when I get to this point in my life that really help me deal with that stress. So hang out, stick around, and I'll go through my five simple steps for de-stressing your life. I'm quite possibly on the verge of a nervous breakdown. I am so overcommitted in so many aspects of my life. First, I'm the mom of a four-year-old. That's a full-time job. Get her up, get her dressed, get her bathed, get her fed, get her off to school, get her homework done, keep her happy, play with her, get her into bed, make sure she's in bed, make sure she goes to sleep. No, she's out of bed, go back to sleep. It's a full-time job. Any mom can tell you that. And I only have one. I don't know how you moms with more than one can do it. And on top of that, I actually have a full-time job, which I, of course, will never sacrifice because one, I love it, and two, it pays the bills. Not all of the bills. Recio still has to contribute to pay all of the bills, but it pays some of the bills. Well, I'm so getting Lyme disease walking through this. And about three months ago, I started doing YouTube to help us be more accountable for our journey through the Dave Ramsey plan. And while I'm loving it and having an absolute blast with doing it, I find myself working on it about 20 to 30 hours a week, writing ideas and writing scripts and, um, filming and editing. Editing takes a long time. And then also corresponding with all of you guys, which honestly is probably my favorite part of this whole process. But that's a lot of time. Then there's that whole diet and exercise aspect to my life. I, every morning I try and get up and run five miles a day, five days a week. And then there are those normal everyday chores that absolutely everybody who's watching this knows about. So I'm not even gonna go into details about those. You know what they are. They're those things that you have to do that nobody wants to do. I'm pretty much like every other YouTuber out there. I just want more hours in the day. I'm finding that there are three things that I am routinely sacrificing in this whole keeping up with my life process. Sleep, cleaning, and exercise. The sleep is important, super important, because guess what? When I'm tired, my brain doesn't function in it as well. And if my brain's not working, it's taking me twice as long to get everything done. Exercise is super important because one, if I'm stressing about gaining weight, I'm not thinking about the things I need to get done. And two, exercising actually helps me, okay, that's a B. Exercise actually helps me de-stress. And then the final one is cleaning. Okay, I'm a self, self-proclaimed self neat freak. Everything has to be in order all the time or my life does not function the way I want it to. So if I don't keep everything neat, every time I see a mess, I walk by it, I kind of freak out a little. Okay, I kind of freak out a lot. My heart starts beating fast, I start stressing, I get the cold sweats, I'm like, oh, I have to clean that up. So it's just better if I don't sacrifice the cleaning. And I've noticed the more stressed I am, the more I eat and the more I shop. Hmm. I may notice some coping mechanisms going on here. I think I might need some mental help. So when my heart starts racing or I feel like I want to put my head down and just cry, there are five steps I take to get myself up and get myself back on plan and get my job done. And don't worry, they're not like, find your inner child and uh, let's go play with toys, new agey crap. I'm not that person. That may work for some people, but it definitely is not going to work for me. The first step is I sit down and I make a free form to-do list. 
I just start writing. Okay, these are all the things that I have to do. Boom, 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 and just write them down. They don't go in particular order, they just go down as they come into my mind. Now for me personally, I actually write them electronically um, because when it comes to steps two and three, it makes my life a lot easier. And I'm, I'm a super slow handwriter. My typing is way faster. And considering I type like this, it's pretty impressive that I can get it typed as quickly as I do. The next step on the list is I take all of those things that I just wrote down and I figure out what is immediate, what is impending, and what is long term. Immediate must be done today. If it doesn't have to be done today, then it does not get classified as immediate. Second is impending. Impending things need to be done within the next two to three days. They absolutely must be done within the next two to three days. Things with a looming deadline or things that I know I have to get done, for example, on the weekend, I have a certain errand that has to be run that I can't run during the week. Those are impending. Everything else goes on the long-term list. Third, I take that long-term list and I move it to a separate document. Those long-term items, I don't get to think about them again until everything is done on the immediate and impending lists. And trust me, there are some things that have been on my long-term list for a long, long time. Then fourth, I see what's on the immediate and impending lists that can be done by someone else. And I ask for help. There are just some things on my list that I don't have to complete. Like, for example, helping Melina with her homework. I don't have to help her with her homework. My mom, who was a teacher for her whole career, is probably better qualified to help my daughter with her homework than I am. So why not ask her to help me? Or my dad. My dad actually picks Melina up at school in the afternoon, and if I have a huge project of work, he'll actually go and take her to school in the morning. And it doesn't necessarily make me a bad mother to ask for other people to help me take care of my child. Mauricio's working 12 hours a day, six or seven days a week right now. He's not around to help and I can't do everything by myself. So sometimes it's just important for me to ask for help. And right now, Melina is with my brother's kids, playing and having a good time. And she's going to love every second of it way more than she would spending the day with me while I'm all stressed out about all the work I have to do. So, you know, sometimes it's okay to ask for help. So then finally, I'm going to put them on the calendar and I'm going to schedule out my day by the hour and I'm going to put a time limit on activities that are never going to get completely done like answering all my emails. I can't answer every single email. I can't respond to every single comment so I put a time limit on those things and sometimes they're just not going to get completed but that's okay and then the things that absolutely have to get completed I gauge how much time they're going to take and I budget a little extra, much like with my regular budget, extra is always safe to make sure that there is enough time to get it done. Because if I feel rushed or I don't have enough time to get it done, that's going to stress me out even more. So a few suggestions for getting things done. First of all, learn to multitask. There's so much that you can get done while you're doing something else. For example, I listen to, if I'm learning something new, I might listen to a podcast about it while I'm running or driving in my car. Or maybe while I'm driving to work, I take audio notes on my phone so I don't have to necessarily write every single thing down. I also try and make every second count. There are you know, little patches of five minutes in a day that maybe I could be doing something. For example, when I finish my run in the morning, I actually work in the garden for about five minutes weeding. It doesn't look like it'll help, but it actually does. And in one week of weeding for five minutes for the last few days, I actually have gotten almost the whole front flower bed weeded. 
and it's a big one and there is something moving oh my goodness then just go do it i know these steps will help you get everything you want to get accomplished they help me it every time i start that list i can feel my stress going down so I hope these tips help you lower your stress levels just a little. I know making lists always help me. So if you're new to my channel, click that subscribe button down below so you can see my updates, which I post twice weekly, sometimes more. And I can't wait to see you again. See ya!